What is up, YouTube? Multi Apples here, bringing you another video. And today we can, we'll actually be playing Life is Strange. Now I think it's Friday or Saturday. I'm pretty confident it's Friday. I actually downloaded the DLC for this game, so we can actually play this. So I'm gonna mute my mic and turn on game volume. Like I listen to the game volume. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. I better not leave without my shower supplies. I am so not a rebel. 
I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game, instead of drama games. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Courtney, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Turn the I didn't think Kate was like out. this. Macking on those bros? Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. No need to go there now. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely, I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. 
That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After I find Kate's book. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And nothing here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I need to get dressed before I go there. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around Kate. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. 
He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. Kate's art is perfect for a Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it.
Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal, after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Max, get over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Max, check it out. Warren, what? Oh, nothing. By the way. Oh, yes. You're a real. Even though you left me. An old. I bet you're a good. I bu Weird. Yes, that's it. Well, that was easier.
David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Makes me feel 13 again. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call... Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet.
Chloe understands she just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. I know things were hard. You did the right. Joyce. I'm glad. Chloe? Oh, she hit. I see. Do you? I. D Nobody's in trouble. But Chloe. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get... I was dr... Now... F one bacon omelet. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. I'm for the young lady staff. Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> It looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Incoming. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. 
And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A bullet, just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl, let me show you what's actually. Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this is me telling- Okay, Max. I'm help- I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's act- Okay, Max, study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this- Okay, Max. I'm pretty sure you have- Yes, you know I'm a sm Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. A penguin keychain. Do I look like a Linux nerd like your pal Warren? Okay, psychic girl. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this- Okay, Mac. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoke. Seven cigarettes. A superpower. Amazing. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty four AM. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. 
How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Joyce drops her plate and the truckers make fun of her. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. That is Did so wrong. Did you break another cup? I'm going to predict. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict... The trucker drops his... So, what happened? The cop gets an emergency alert. Well, let's just... Just an... This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I'm going to predict. The trucker drops his mug. So what happens? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves with Well, let's... Justin and... This is getting... The jukebox goes crazy as a... Pretty bizarro. Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. 
And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Oh, that's so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to... The trucker... So what happened? Well, just an intro. This is getting good. The jukebox goes quick. Pretty bizarro, man. I'm going to predict four. The trucker drop. So. The cop. Well, let's. Just. A this is getting. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, where really? You go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and pull to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later.
Hey, YouTube multi apples here bringing another video. I don't know why I said that. I'm over 50 minutes into the video. I'm going to be ending it here because I, have to, uh, I just have to get off and go to bed early. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video, the game, as much as I am. Continue it. Deuces. I'll continue it later. Deuces.